All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 minus 16 is equal to 0. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first rewrite 16 here as 4 to the power of 2. So now I have x to the power of 4 minus 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now x to the power of 4, that's the same thing as x to the power of 2 times 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, that's going to equal x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 squared is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is 4. So I have x squared plus 4 times x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. And now for x squared minus 4, I can rewrite that as x squared minus 2 squared. And again, remember if I have something you form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So x squared minus 2 squared, that's going to equal x plus 2 times x minus 2, which is equal to 0. So now, this gives me three equations to work with. I have x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. I have x plus 2 is equal to 0. And I have x minus 2 is equal to 0. So let's first start off in the easier equations, which are x plus 2 equals 0 and x minus 2 equals 0. So if x minus 2 equals 0, all I have to do is add 2 on both sides, and I get x is equal to 2. So this is one solution. If x plus 2 equals 0, all I have to do is subtract 2 on both sides, and I get x is equal to negative 2. So I have two solutions already. And now finally, for x squared plus 4 equals 0, to solve this, I'm going to subtract 4 on both sides. And I get x squared is equal to negative 4. Now, if I take the square root on both sides, I get the square root of x squared is equal to square root of negative 4. The square root of x squared is x. And the square root of negative 4, I can write as the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know the square root of negative 1, that's equal to i. So now I have square root of 4, which is positive or negative 2, and i. So these are my four solutions. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 is equal to 12. So... What I'm first going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as I'm going to first start by adding x to the power of 3 and subtracting x to the power of 2 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 plus 12 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rewrite 12 here as 8 plus 4. Now 8, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3, and 4 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So now if I switch the order of these, I get x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 plus 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. And now from here, if I factor out negative 1, I get negative x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So in this case, this is going to equal x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 2 squared, which is 4. 
I have this minus x to the power of 3 minus 2 squared, or sorry, x to the power of 2 minus 2 squared, which is all equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So x squared minus 2 squared, let me write all of this. This is equal to x plus 2 times x minus 2. Now from here, if I factor out x plus 2, I get x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4 minus x plus 2, which is equal to 0. And this simplifies to x plus 2 times x squared minus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x plus 2 is equal to 0, and I have x squared minus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. So for x plus 2 equals 0, x is obviously equal to negative 2, so this is one solution. And for x squared minus 3x plus 6 equals 0, to solve this we have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 3, and c is 6. So I have negative negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. And this simplifies to 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 24 over 2. And if you notice, 9 minus 24, that's negative 15. So I'll have square root of negative 15. And you can actually take the square root of a negative number. So this is wrong. And my only solution is x equals negative 2. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 21 plus x to the power of 14 is equal to 36. So I'm first going to rewrite x to the power of 21 as x to the power of 7 to the power of 3. And then we write x, x to the power of 14 as x to the power of 7 to the power of 2. Now this is equal to 36. And now I'm going to let the variable y equal to x to the power of 7. So now I have y to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2 is equal to 36. Now if I subtract 36 on both sides, I get y to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2 minus 36 is equal to 0. So now to solve this, I'm going to write this as y to the power of 3 plus negative 3a squared plus 4a squared minus 36 is equal to 0. So all I did was I simply rewrote y squared as negative 3a squared plus 4a or sorry, this is y, not a. So I simply rewrote y squared as negative 3y squared plus 4y squared. And now from here, If I factor out y squared from y to the power of 3 plus negative 3y squared, I get y squared times y minus 3. And now if I factor out 4 from 4y squared minus 36, I get 4 times y squared minus 9. And now this is equal to 0. Now y squared minus 9, that's the same thing as y plus 3 times y minus 3. And now from here, if I factor out y minus 3, I get y minus 3 times y squared plus 4 times y plus 3, which is equal to 0. And now if I simplify that, I get y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have y minus 3 is equal to 0 and I have y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. So for y minus 3 equals 0, y is obviously equal to 3. And for y squared plus 4y plus 12 equals 0, well, if you actually put this in the quadratic formula, you get that 
you get the square root of a negative number, and you can't take the square root of a negative number, so this is wrong, and the only solution for y is y equals 3. So now going back, remember how we let y equal x to the power of 7. So we know that y equals 3, meaning 3 is equal to x to the power of 7. So if 3 equals x to the power of 7, all I have to do is take the power of 1, 7 on both sides, and I get the 7th root of 3 is equal to x. So this is my answer.